The PyeongChang 2018 Organizing Committee held a special ceremony as we inch closer to hosting the Games in the nation. The event reflected renewed confidence and determination stemming from meticulous preparations to make it a success. And according to our EG1, the committee always had North Korea's participation in mind. North Korea's willingness to participate in the 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympics came as a big surprise to many, but the PyeongChang Organizing Committee and the Korean Sports and Olympic Committee seem far more confident about it. President of the Organizing Committee Lee Hee-bom said at a ceremony to renew the committee's determination for the global sporting event held at the PyeongChang Olympic Stadium on Wednesday that the Organizing Committee has been preparing for North Korea's participation in the Games for a long time and that these preparations are not just limited to Pyongyang's athletes, but to the whole team, including the cheering squad and performers. He said the specifics will be discussed through the government's talks with the North. While the International Olympic Committee said it's willing to cover all costs for North Korean athletes through its Olympic Solidarity Program, the cost for the support team will have to be discussed between the two Koreas. There has also been growing speculation over the two Koreas participating in the Games as a single team. And while Lee ki president of Korean Sports and Olympic Committee, said that they will keep all options open, they will also make sure no South Korean athlete will have to forego their place after four years of hard work. Although Pyongyang's figure skating duo Ryeom Deok and Kim Ju-shi qualified to compete at PyeongChang 2018, they lost their spots after failing to register by the participation deadline. However, with the IOC's wild card, the figure skating duo and Pyongyang's strong short track speed skating and women's ice hockey teams could be competing at South Korea's Alpine Resort Town next month. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.